sort of vlog. This is probably going to be a combination of the next week or two. I am 37 weeks in one day. Just got out of my 37 week appointment and um, we're talking about possibly inducing not next week but the week after. So at 39 weeks when I'm like 39 weeks and three days or something like that. So I'm going to order some Thai food right now because there's this awesome Thai restaurant right next to my doctor's office. So every time I've been having appointments, it's been like a little guilty pleasure to order this Thai food. In hot kitchen, can you please hold? Sure. Oh, thank you. Um, so I'm going to pick up some Thai food and then I'm going to run into Dollar Tree because there's a few little things I might hold off. I'm going to Dollar Tree since it is a longer wait than usual for the food. Um, but yeah, I've been having a lot of like pelvic pressure, like where my hips and pelvis are. I just feel like it's stretching and opening to the point where I can't like get up without being in pain, sit down, like open my legs, switching positions in the bed is so, so, so uncomfortable. And, um, I did not experience this in my past two pregnancies. Like I had a lot of like Braxton Hicks and like pains more in my belly, but nothing like that. So I don't know. We're definitely on baby watch. She said she's super, super low and pretty thin, um, dilated between a one and a two. They want to see me at a two before we can schedule the induction. So hopefully by next week I'm at a two and then we can schedule. Um, usually I'm not a huge fan of inductions, but I had a positive experience with Soleil, my second. Um, we did wait until she was like 41 weeks and within some days to be induced. Uh, but I mean, it worked and I didn't end up in a C-section or anything like that because that's kind of like my biggest fear is doing an induction and like it not doing what it needs to do and then having to get the baby out, you know, via C-section. So. We are just going to have to continue waiting to see what's going to happen. Hey guys, it's a couple of days later and today is an exciting day because it's my maternity shoot. Um, I'm going to be doing two different looks and two different backgrounds. I have the girls with me to get a few photos of them and I'm going to try my best, fingers crossed, to do some behind the scenes, maybe like create a reel out of it and also share some clips with you guys. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but it's snowing and it's really cold. I like to hibernate in this weather, but this maternity shoot is obviously time sensitive. So I just like did my makeup and got ready and all that stuff. And now we are headed to the shoot. I long for that feeling Why did it have to go away? I long for that feeling Remember everything you said
just made myself a little bit of tea with like lemon in it. So good because I'm literally freezing. I'm freezing. It's so cold today. And I wanted to share with you guys just a couple things that I picked up over the past week for baby girl. I'm sitting in her nursery. It's going to be painted tomorrow. So it's actually going to stay white. And I think we're just going to do like a really pretty accent wall. But there's like primer on the wall right now. We primed this room when we painted the rest of the house last year. And we never put a color on it, which I'm so happy that we didn't because we were gonna paint this room like a dark, dark blue and this was gonna be Joe's like man cave. But we also have a finished basement with like two different sections to it. So I felt like it made more sense to kind of do like a second family room there and have that be more of like a chill spot. So yeah, that would have been such a hassle to change out the dark blue because it was like a super, super dark blue that we were gonna do in here. I picked up a few things from Burlington. Burlington has the cutest little girl stuff, um, like baby stuff in general. These were $5.99 and I just did all zero to three month because my girls are usually big when they're born and they don't fit into newborns, so I don't really bother. This was $7.99, also in a zero to three month. Just a bunch of little onesies. They're gonna have these on under their little um, sleep sacks and when they're at home, this one was $5.99 as well. Hello world. And it's just like all the cute girly colors. And I just got a couple sleepers. They did not have that much at this Burlington. I'm gonna go to another one and see if I can find more. This was $3.99. You cannot beat that with the little mermaids on it and it has the zippers. I don't mess with anything that does not have zippers. If you have kids, you know why. This was $5.99 this has a two-way zipper, so that's cool too. Um, that's all I picked up from like clothing-wise. And then they had these little socks. These were $3.49, so just some little baby socks. I've never had a baby this much like but I've never had a baby in the winter because technically Omar was born the day after the first day of spring so in the midwest it does feel like winter but it's not like as cold as what it is now um in December um I also got these little hooded towels these were $4.99 I picked up a Johnson's baby moisture wash I don't like to get too many at once just in case they don't like it or they react to it. This is supposed to be hypoallergenic though, um, but still I usually just get like one of each different type to see what the baby can tolerate. Also picked up these little washcloths. These are, these were $4.99. I also picked up this boppy and I thought it was so cute. It was only oh, $26.99 and, and it came with, and it came with the cover. Wow, what is that? <laughs> Um, and then I'll show you guys the bassinet that we got uh, for her as well. This is the little bassinet that we got for her. It has like a little nightlight, some sound machine music. I also got this from Burlington, just a little brush and comb set. And it has, it has some storage on the side. I thought that was nice. I'm gonna take this and kind of put it in our closet so it's out of the way for when we paint tomorrow. And obviously it's gonna be in our room. We also picked up this little rocking chair in the summer um, after I found out I was pregnant and we're going to do like a little makeover on this and make it white. Maybe put her name across the back, I'm not sure. I wanna get working on that soon though. And yeah, I wanna see this nursery start to actually look like a nursery. It's just been like an empty room in our house this past year. So, um, yeah.